I know you want your voice to be heard on this. So a number of women have come forward. They've made allegations against your husband. Some of them go back more than 30 years. He has said they're lying. Do you believe him? I believe my husband. I believe my husband. This was all organized from the opposition. And um, with the details that they go, did they ever, did they ever check the background of these women? Uh, they don't have any facts. And um, even the story that came out in People magazine, the writer that she said that my husband took her to the room and started kissing her, she wrote in the same story about me that she saw me on Fifth Avenue and I said to her, Natasha, how can I, we don't see you anymore? I was never friend with her. I would not recognize her. That never happened? Never happened. That's why I sent them the letter, because it discredited the story. Right, you, she, your, your lawyer has sent a letter to People of, Magazine saying they have to retract. Yes, because it was not true. So how we could, how we could believe her? That never happened. I was never friend with her. I saw her, she interviewed us twice. She came to the wedding and for that story. That's it. I would not recognize her on the, on the street or ask her why we don't see her anymore. So that was another thing like, you know, people come out saying lies and not true stuff. Has this whole campaign been harder than you expected? I mean, I, I know you said you came into this with your eyes open, but has it, yeah, has it been tougher than you expected? I didn't expect media will be so dishonest and so mean. I didn't expect that. Also for me, from the beginning, I never had one correct story, one um, honest story. From New York Post, two days in a row, they put me on the cover um, with the pictures that I did many, many years ago as a model. I'm very proud I did those pictures. I'm not ashamed of my body. I feel very comfortable with myself and with my body. And they were taken for a European French magazine. And in Europe, we are proud of the bodies, no matter what size you are. And it was done as an art, as a celebration of female body. So they put it twice in a row. In that story, they put the date when pictures were taken wrong. They never called me when the pictures were taking. Right, there were allegations that they, the, I it, was was, here. it was much earlier than you much were actually here. Correct. And suddenly it becomes, I'm here illegally. I was married before. I said, like, yeah, find me the husband that I was married before my husband. Uh, so I, there were a lot of, uh, you know, a lot of dishonest stuff. And uh, that surprised me that they will not check the facts and that reporters will just write. And uh, surprised me also because every, every story, well, it's a female. It's a female reporter. And um, that's why when they went too far in, um, on the website, one of the websites and newspapers, um, and the blogger as well, I said, this is it. I will fight for myself. I will fight for my name. They cannot damage my name and my reputation because it's not true. And uh, the names that they're calling me, they're calling my husband, they're calling my family, it's unacceptable. In, in defending himself, and your husband has, again, categorically said these allegations are all false, yes. um, he's made some comments about the way some of the women who are accusing him look. What do you think about that? Well, that's him. He's raw. He will say it as he feels it. So, um, you know, I, I know he respects women, but he's defending himself because they are lies. You have a, you have a young son. Yes. Is he aware of all this? How do you, is that a conversation you have to have with your son? I. I let him have a normal childhood as possible. We talk a lot, a lot about the campaign. We talk about the language because I don't allow 
uh, that he uses bad language. He's in that age, and all the boys are in that age. That, yeah, they say some bad words, and it's very normal. They're growing up. But I tell him that, you know, there are consequences as well, and he, he needs to be careful the language he uses. I teach him. I tell him. That's why it was my decision not to be on the campaign trail. I don't listen to anybody about what to do, what to say, when to say it. Um, when to do interviews. If it will be, for example, for my husband or the campaign, they will have me on the trail all the time. They wish to have me there. But I made the decision. I will be a parent to, my, to our boy, to our child. Your husband said last week that you two are stronger today than you ever were before. Do you feel that way? Uh, we always have a great marriage and strong relationship. And uh, he said many times, you know, he's, he's a, that I'm a rock for a whole family. And um, yes, uh, we are very strong. We are, uh, we are two independent people thinking on their own and have a very open conversation. And I think that's very healthy for the relationship. The other thing that's uh, being talked a lot about on the campaign trail, that your husband is saying he believes the election is rigged, that there's a lot of forces trying to rig it. Do you, do you feel that as well? Well, I see it how the media is portraying. I see how they're reporting and what they want to say and what they don't want to say. Um, they're going, just for example, uh, he makes a speech 45 minutes long. They take a sentence out and they going on and on and on about that sentence. Nothing else. And he talks about the issues, and that's what American people want to hear. It's about issues, about jobs, about the future of our country. And that's what he wants to do. He wants to secure the borders. He wants to secure America. He wants to bring jobs bags back. He wants to bring economy back. And uh, he's very passionate about American people because he knows he can do that. He's a worker. He's a fighter. He is uh, he's very passionate about it. And he will not give up. He will fight till the end. And uh, he will fight for American people as he's fighting now for, for himself. You have one more debate coming up. Do you, do yes. you get nervous? No. You don't? No. No. I always uh, said to him, be you, be yourself, be calm, be, be focused, uh, stay on the issues, because American people, they, uh, they want to hear uh, what, what you will do for them. Uh, because we discuss many times at home, and uh, I know what, what is, 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 is he in, my, in his mind and uh, the way he can lead that country. We're three weeks to the election. If you could let the American people know one thing about your husband, what, what would it be? Because right now, the latest polls show, I think, 60, more than 60 percent of people believe your husband made some sort of unwanted advances. What do you want those people to know? What would you say to them? That my husband is kind and he's a gentleman, and uh, he would never do that. That everything was uh, organized and put together to, to hurt him, to hurt his candidacy. Organized by the opposition? By opposition, yes. Media, Clintons? Media, Clintons, yes. You think they're working together? Yes, of course. Last time you and I spoke, you talked about what you would hope to do in the White House. Have you given more thought to that? What, what, where, where is your thinking right now? Well, my passion is uh, the same, uh, helping children and helping women. Uh, and also, I see now uh, in 21st century, the social media, it's very damaging for the children. We need to guide them and teach them about social media, because I see a lot of negativity on it. And uh, we need to help them. It has some positive effects as well, because this is the life that we live in now, but has a lot of negativity as well. And I see more and more children uh, being hurt by it. There's a lot of bullying that goes a on A lot of online. bullying. I, I stopped social media a year and a half. You did? I did. For yourself? For myself. 
I post some of the stuff, but I'm not posting. I'm not a attention seeker. Uh, my life is not a photo app. And uh, I, I decided not to be on social media anymore because I see the, the negativity and uh, it's not healthy. It's not healthy. Do you tell Mr. Trump to not tweet so much? Uh, yes, but that's his decision. He's an adult. He knows the consequences. I, I give him many advices. But, you know, sometimes he listens, sometimes he doesn't. And uh, he will do what he wants to do on the end, as I would do what I want to do. Well, thank you very much. Thank you.